Hello, sweet friends, and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. I have been looking so forward to filming today's video every single year. This is like one of my very favorite videos to film. I'm going to share with you guys my fall decor haul of all the things I've picked up so far, which honestly isn't that much. You guys know I already have plenty, but because we are in a new house and there's just a few things that I want to do like a little bit different as far as decorating for fall this year. So I'm going to show you what all I have picked up. We're also going to make a super delicious crock pot recipe like this could be one of the best ones ever. And then I'm also gonna take you guys back to whenever I was home, mom and I went to the cutest store. It's called Spade and Broom. And I wanna say it is in Trinity, North Carolina. I will link their store down below for y'all. But if you ever get the chance to go, you have to. It is so, so beautiful. It will blow you away. And outside they have the most beautiful garden that you can go and walk through. And there's like butterflies and there's a pond and it is just, breathtaking. So let's go ahead and get this crock pot recipe on and then I'll take you guys back to Spain and Broom and do a little shopping. Then I'll give you our haul. Okay so to my crock pot I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good spray and I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chicken. This recipe is called creamy slow chicken rigatoni. It sounds amazing. Next we're gonna add in a good amount of Italian seasoning probably about a tablespoon and Bunky is actually going to play golf tonight with one of our friends who's in town. So I'm hoping this is gonna be ready like right when he gets home. And then about the same amount of garlic powder and black pepper. This recipe also calls for like the Lipton soup mix, I think is what it's called, but I don't really love that because it has a lot of onions in it. So I always just substitute that with the zesty Italian salad dressing seasoning mix. This packs so much flavor. Next is one can of cream of chicken soup. And then I'm going to do about a cup and a half to two cups of heavy cream. And then about a third of a stick of butter. I'm going to do half a block of cream cheese, about a cup to a cup and a half of chicken broth. And a couple dashes of hot sauce. Okay, we're gonna give this like a good little stir, kind of get everything mixed together. And then I'm gonna pop a lid on and let this cook on high for about three hours so we get to our next step. I do wanna tell you, I'm going to type out this recipe down below because I found it from a TikTok. And I am kind of halfing to three-fourthsing this recipe. So I will type it out to kind of the exact measurements that the original recipe came from. I'm just like eyeballing it because of course I'm just making it for Bunky and I, but we're gonna add pasta in there later, more chicken stock, cheese, y'all. It's gonna be so good. But let me go ahead and take y'all back to Spade and Broom so we can go do a little bit of fall decor shopping and I'll give you guys my haul.
Okay, so many beautiful things in there. We had so much fun. I got some goodies I cannot wait to share with y'all, but they actually have an outside garden area that is just as beautiful as the inside. So mom and I are gonna go walk through it. I'm gonna show y'all this part too because it is stunning. Look at this. Wow. Or a spider web. I know. <laughs> Look at this canopy. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. This is called tree ivy and it's just, oh. So pretty. Okay, the sun is going down so the lighting in here is kind of weird i tried to find a spot where there's not like too many shadows but i thought i would start off by showing you all what i got at spade and broom mom and i also stopped by chartreuse barn if you've been around for a while you've probably heard me talk about it i used to go there like once a month whenever we lived back at home and they have like all kinds of vendors and they have like antiques and things like that so i did pick up one thing from there i got a set of these cute little acorn um i assume it's like a little acorn i guess you call it like a candle holder i'm gonna put like a little orange votive in here that's like a you know faux flickering candle and i thought those would be so so cute i got two of them um so that's what i got at chartreuse and then what i got from spade and broom so y'all know i love lots of florals because i feel like you can just take those and really make a space so i saw this one and the leaves on it just looked so realistic and i love the colors in here so i got this one stem because i'm thinking it's like full enough that if i like kind of Pull these branches out i can still make it look really good like in a tiny little vase so anyway picked up this okay now what i am most excited for mom and i could not believe that this was only 20 dollars, but i got this super cute i think this is called like is it a mortar and pestle i'm probably saying that wrong hopefully not but it is just so darling and I'm gonna put it in our kitchen, but what made me decide to get this is they had all of these little faux floral pieces, but y'all, they are flat on the back. So you can just sit it on top of anything. It doesn't have a stem, it's not a wreath. It is so cool. I should have gotten more of them, but the way they had this decorated, which you probably saw while it's in there, is they just took it and sat it right on top, and y'all, look at how cute this is like i can't get over it it is just so pretty so i was like i have to have this whole little setup <laughs> so i picked that up i love it okay and the last thing from spade and broom mom and i were laughing because we're like this reminds us of like winnie the pooh's jar of honey but i found this little jar and i just thought it was so pretty the color is beautiful so i'm gonna have it displayed either in our kitchen or like on our um little shelves over there beside our kitchen but i just thought this was so so cute okay so now what i got at home goods and y'all probably already knew that i got this but remember in store they had these copper pumpkins and with the color of like our kitchen like the chandelier lights are that like sea glass greenish blue and then we have a lot of blue in our granite i just thought that copper with that color would be so stunning so i'm going to try and pull out some copper as well this fall but this was just so pretty i couldn't pass it up it was 14.99 i probably should got a different one i was hoping they would have one that was a little bit bigger so i could have like two different sizes but i only saw this size but i love the copper okay and now from michael's remember i told you guys this is like one of my favorite finds for this fall i'm gonna try and find the footage and insert it right here but remember my mom let me borrow her big pumpkins that are lit up and i use them to decorate our kitchen 
maybe this was either last year or the year before, and I love them. They are so pretty. So I wanted to find some for myself, and Kirkland's had them this year. They are so pretty. I love the topper on them. Um, they had two different ones. There was another one that had like more of a, I think a plaid ribbon, and maybe different colors like in the leaves and stuff. But I like this one because it's more like traditional and kind of neutral. But let's see. Hopefully you'll be able to see, but it lights up. I actually got um, a little package of lights that I might try and shove in here to make it even more bright. And then I got this smaller one as well. So I'm so excited. I already know exactly where I want to put these. And I just think they're so, so pretty. And the last thing I got is by far the best. Okay, last thing, and you probably cannot even see it. The box is so big. I bought a six foot lighted maple tree. <laughs> This is from Amazon and y'all, it's gonna be so pretty and have like so much ambiance. I just love it. And I thought it was like a pretty reasonable price. I will link it down below. Hopefully it's still in stock. I wanna say it was like 50 or $60, but for a six foot tree, I don't think it's that bad, especially because it's already pre-lit. I cannot wait to put this out. Okay, wait till y'all see this it looks amazing so i'm going to go ahead and kind of shred this chicken apart and then we're going to add in some more chicken stock as well as our pasta lots of parmesan and then the recipe calls for like smoked gouda which i didn't have but i was like i'll just use mozzarella y'all somehow i'm out of mozzarella as well so i'm just going to get creative here and do a few of these white american cheese slices I think it's going to be just fine and make it even more creamy. The chicken's not all the way done at this point, so it's not going to be as tender as it will be once it's completely finished cooking. But as long as you can get some kind of big chunks in there to go ahead and kind of just get it working. Y'all know how I love to make a recipe my own. I don't believe that's quite enough pasta and I have just a tiny bit of this one left as well. So I'm gonna add this in too, because why not? Popping a lid back on for about 45 more minutes. Okay, so I did go ahead and put my tree together and I am absolutely in love. This was so easy. Like it was just connecting two little pieces, that's it. And then I just fluffed all of the limbs out. Y'all, tell me this is not so beautiful. My bunkie is back. Yeah. Tell us how you did. Um, we got a few pars. No birdies. A lot of double pars. <laughs> is that good or bad? I don't but, even know. Well, I mean, it's not great. But I did have some very good shots. So. Okay, good. Our crock pot dinner is looking amazing. It but smells incredible right yeah, now. Yeah, it does. But I just checked it and it still has, I think at least like 15, 20 minutes. So we're gonna let it keep cooking. Oh boy. Wow. Wow. That is good. I am shook, Bunky. I'm definitely picking up on the creaminess. It's, it's very, very creamy. It's very smooth, like very, but it's not over the top, you know? Like. Oh my goodness, Bunky. It's velvety. It's very velvety. It's kind of light. It is. I put one of the Italian dressing seasoning packets in there. Mm hmm. And I feel like that's what I can like taste, mm. and it is so good. You know what this is kind of like? What? Like when you do it with the, um, like we've done before with the Olive Garden. Mm-hmm. But it's less tangy. Like it's more edible. 
Is there cream cheese in here? Yeah, a little bit of cream cheese. But not as much. No. And I think that Olive Garden dressing is like so powerful. Right. I really like the texture of it more. The sauce, so like the texture of the sauce is so much smoother. This is creamy goodness. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. Okay, I gotta tell y'all, this hands down is in like my top best of ever crock pot recipes. It is scrumptious, like the flavor is so good. It's so creamy. You have to make this. Like you absolutely have to put this on your meal plan for the week. You're gonna love it. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. We will do more fall decorating, I promise, and more crock pot recipes to come. But I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.